Hey everyone, welcome back. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to diagnose B1065 airbag fault code on this Nissan. As you saw from the fault code description, this code is for passenger airbag. So here is you see the wind diagram for the passenger airbag. Front passenger airbag is just right here. Uh, this is airbag control module and you have the wiring between airbag and airbag control module. Uh, here is the airbag control module under the center console for this car. Most of the time, the location of the airbag control module is under the center console. So when you have a fault code on the airbag, the problem could be from the airbag itself. The wiring between the airbag and airbag control module and airbag control module itself. Step-by-step -step diagnostic is going to be like this. I need to locate the airbag to check the connector because the code was open circuit. It could be from the airbag connector if the connector was okay i need to process it for checking the airbag and the wiring and if these two are okay i might need to change the airbag control module itself but how can i check the airbag itself as you see on this wind diagram my airbag has two stages but right here as you see i have removed some part of the dash to reach to the airbag connector which is right here uh, this one has only two wires which actually gives me only one stage so basically Whatever your wind diagram tells you, you need to check it with the car as well. Sometimes there are some differences. This one is referring to two stages, but actually on, on the car, I have one stage. I have only two wires. So what happens, this is actually the igniter inside the airbag itself. The problem could be uh, open circuit on the igniter or on the wiring, okay? So basically, uh, after checking the connector, I have already checked the connector it was okay there was nothing wrong i didn't have any loose connection uh, for checking the airbag itself even if i have the igniter and igniter does have internal resistance equal to 2.2 ohms i cannot measure the internal resistance of the airbag so you should never proceed for measuring the internal resistance of the airbag because it may deploy the airbag so what we need to do I'm gonna show you how to remove the airbag connector and how to simulate the airbag because of course we don't have the spare airbag all the time so put it on the car to see if the airbag itself was faulty so that's why I'm gonna show you how to simulate the airbag uh, instead of using a spare airbag in this case because I'm not yet sure if the problem is from the passenger airbag or the wiring or the airbag control module itself I'm gonna use airbag dummy resistor so airbag dummy resistor is actually a resistor with 2.2 ohm resistance, all right, which is gonna simulate the airbag. So what I'm gonna do, I will disconnect the connector. Uh, and of course, when I disconnect the connector, ignition switch is off and battery negative terminal is disconnected. Then I will disconnect the airbag connector. I will insert this dummy resistor just right here between these two pins. All right, between these two pins, this is gonna play the role of airbag because it provides actually 2.2 ohms resistance. And if the problem was from the airbag itself, if I try to erase the code, code is gonna go away, all right? Because this one is actually playing a role of a good airbag. But if you put the dummy resistor in place, all right, inside the connector, and after erasing the code, you will still see the code keeps coming back it means you need to proceed for checking the wiring between the airbag and airbag control module okay you may have the open circuit uh, on one of these two wires uh, so after checking the wiring if you still don't have any fault on the wiring you might need to proceed for changing the airbag control unit all right let's start i'm gonna simulate the airbag by putting the dummy resistor inside the connector and then I will try to erase the code to see if code goes away and uh, what we can do for this fault. All right, here is the passenger airbag connector. I removed this part of the dash to reach to the connector itself. There is a release lock in here. I need to pull this one back and disconnect the connector. All right, so after disconnecting the connector, you have two parts. This one goes to the airbag itself. As you see, the airbag is just down there. And on the female side of the connector, which goes to the airbag control module, I need to insert the dummy resistor.
All right, I have inserted the dummy resistor. Now I'm gonna connect the battery negative terminal and uh, turn the ignition switch on to see if I can erase the code. All right, the ignition switch is on. I have already connected my scan tool to OBD2 connector. And let's see what uh, we can do for this code. On the system list, I'm gonna go for airbag. I'm gonna read the fault code first. As you see, B1065 is the past, so there is no active fault code anymore. So this means uh, after simulating the airbag with dummy resistor, my code is already gone. So if I erase the code, if I go for clearing the fault code, I try to read the code again, no DTC is detected. So basically this troubleshooting means I have to replace the passenger airbag because I have already simulated a passenger airbag with dummy resistor. As you see, the dummy resistor is right there. So this dummy resistor is actually playing the role of the airbag. And because after inserting the dummy resistor into the airbag connector, my code is already gone and is not coming back. This confirms that passenger airbag is already faulty. Uh, the, and the only thing I need to do is uh, I need to replace the passenger airbag. But of course, as I said earlier, if in this case, after putting the dummy resistor into the connector, you still have the fault code, you need to proceed for checking the uh, wiring between the airbag connector and airbag control module down here. All right, everyone, thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. Please don't forget to visit the channel page for more diagnostic videos.